We're continuing our puzzle book series, and today we're going to focus on puzzle book software. I'm going to show you how to create a puzzle book, as well as give you a sneak peek at a puzzle book for kids software. So stick around. Hey, Wright Riders, Keith Wheeler here, and if you want to continue to get all the hints, tips, and tricks on how to make self-publishing easier, then be sure to subscribe to the channel, smash the little bell icon so you get alerted every time I put out a new video. In a previous video, we did some puzzle book research in which I decided that I was going to do a variety puzzle book about animals. Well, now it's time to take those ideas and lists that I made and make a puzzle book. Now, you're going to want to stick around because a little later, I'm going to give you a sneak peek at a kid's puzzle book software that literally launched about 24 hours ago. Now, if you're excited about this video, I want you to hit that thumbs up five times. Now enough talking, let's flip the screen around and start working on that puzzle book. Here we are at puzzlebookmastery.com. I've logged in and this is the homepage that we're gonna see. Uh, before I go any further, make sure that you join the Facebook group. Ken will come in there periodically and give us updates. Also, there's just a lot of people helping one another. Great Facebook group. Here you see the different types of puzzles that exist within Puzzle Book Mastery. You got word searches, word matches, word scrambles, cryptograms, and Sudoku. And within the Sudoku, we have easy, medium, and hard. You can also click on here and you'll get some examples of some file formats. For example, for word search puzzles, the first line is the name of the puzzle. This is pretty much the same for most of these puzzles. You can have up to 26 words in the file, not counting the first line. The word length must be 13 characters or less blah 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 you can read all this this is just an example of what it might look like so for this one astronomy is going to be the name of the puzzle and then these are the different words now I will say that when they generate the word search it's generated programmatically and therefore not all of your words may appear in there so you always want to have more words than what you're expecting in your word search so for example this one um, you know right now you see a list of 15 different words there might have been 20 in the file so again I'm not going to go through and read all this but right now but this just gives you all the different um, specs for each of the different puzzle types so I'm going to close that so right here is where you can select how many puzzles of each type you want in your puzzle book. Unfortunately, right now, you see I have zero available in all of them. The only exception is Sudoku because the Sudokus are generated within the software, so they're already uploaded. So I can actually go in here and just select 200 Easy Sudoku, click Make Puzzle, and it will generate the PDF very easily. Now, you can also change the output type it's going to default to the PDF, but you can also do PDFs in a zip file. Under puzzle types, these are the different puzzle types that are in here. If you click on each one, it's just going to give you, again, more instructions as to how to do each one. There are plenty of training videos, including Canva training and some bonus files, um, how to run AMS ads, how to do niche research. So not just about using the software, but a bunch of other things that are relevant to puzzle books. Let's get to the meat and potatoes of it. I created an Excel spreadsheet based on the previous video where I decided I was gonna do a variety puzzle book and I was gonna do based on animals. And so as you saw, when you upload each of these, it's gonna to have to be in a text file. And your first line is gonna be your puzzle name. So what I did, row one here is just the title of my puzzles and I wanted to have about 20 word search puzzles so you can see I have a different tab for each of the different puzzle types that I'm gonna do um, you don't have to do all of them you can just pick and choose which ones you want to do so I decided I'm gonna do 20 word searches this one is invertebrates saltwater fish freshwater fish amphibians and so on I have nocturnal animals extinct animals. So as you can see, I didn't necessarily stick with just animal names and types like that. Um, I, I grouped them up. Like for example, the top moms, you know, the, the best animal moms, uh, the worst animal moms, 
best dads, some oddities, and then herbivores, and so on. Um, the different baby names. As I showed you before, in the specs for each puzzle, they will tell you what the character length has to be. For word searches, they have to be 13 characters or less. So I just do in Excel, I just have a quick length formula to tell me what the length of each character is, just so that way I know I'm not putting something in here that's longer than 13 characters. Each of these columns will be its own puzzle. So then what you can do is you, I literally just will control C and then I'll open up a text file and control V and I'll paste it right in there. Here's the one for my invertebrates right here. You can see invertebrates and then the different words. Now for this particular book, I decided I wanted to keep them shorter lists. So I just put 12 in each one. Now for your word scrambles, pretty much the same thing. A word scramble is basically they're taking the word that you have there and they're going to mix it up and the person has to figure out what the word is. So here I'm going to go we'll look and we'll see an example of a word scramble. So like for example this one is going to be shark. Okay this one's coral. So again this is and then there'll be a solve puzzle and there it is. Um, one of the biggest complaints I hear people make when it comes to creating puzzle books is you making these lists and I'll be honest as I said in the previous video that making these lists will probably be the most time-consuming part that you have to do that said it doesn't have to be ridiculously time-consuming because you can use the same words I can use the exact same list for my word scramble that I used for my word search and so I literally just upload it exactly the same I'll go into upload and I'll just pick the same file Word matches are a little different. Word matches, as the name implies, are going to be matches of words. On the, your left-hand side, you're going to have a group of words. On the right-hand side, you're going to have another group of words that they relate to. So, for example, a programmer uses a computer. A doctor uses a thermometer, etc. And again, here's your completed puzzle. Your file itself is going to be a comma delimited file. So, for example, for this one, it would be programmer, comma, computer. Again, your first line is going to be your title, and then you'll literally just have each word separated by a comma. Let me show you an example of mine. In my book, I'm actually going to do states and capitals. So as you can see, the title is states and capitals, and then I have Louisiana, comma, Baton Rouge, Wisconsin, comma, Madison. Again, you don't have to memorize all this because you can just go over here to the training you can click on the basics using the software step-by-step -step training and all of these different resources that you have available. Let me show you some cryptograms. Okay, you can click on the instructions and see that. The quote must be 120 characters or less and you're allowed up to 500 quotes in a file. Each quote is one puzzle. You need at least 20 uploaded before you can make a book. Okay, so now we're gonna start uploading items for our book. So I'm going to go to upload and we're, let's start with our word searches. I can just grab up to 10 files and drag and drop them over. And you see how quick that was. Click to continue. And as you can see, it now has 10 available. I'm going to upload some more. And there are my 20 word searches. Now I'm going to take those exact same files and I'm going to upload them as word scrambles. Next, I'm going to upload some word matches. Again, I'm going to do the states and capitals that I did earlier. I had eight of those. And next, I'm going to upload some cryptograms. So I'm going to go to upload cryptograms. The great thing is, is this is just one file. This one file has 29 rows in it. And there we go. Now, when you go to create your book within Puzzle Book Mastery, Word searches, word matches, and word scrambles have to be in increments of four. For cryptograms, it's increments of 20. So it's going to pick 20 out of these 29. So I can just go through and say I want 12 of these, all eight word matches, all 20 word scrambles, 20 cryptograms, and let's say I want to do, let's see, that's 20, 40, 60. Say I want this to be 80 pages, so I'm going to do 20 easy Sudoku. 
Now let's say, for example, in the word searches, I'm only using 12 out of my 20. Instead of selecting this 12, I can actually go to advanced and I can pick the specific 12 that I want to include. Now the way I like to do mine, you can do it as a PDF. I actually like to do mine as a zip file because the way it's going to export is I'll have my word search and then my answers to my word search, my word matches and then the answers to my word matches and so on. But I like to include all of my answers at the back of the book. So if I output it as a zip file and I click make puzzles, I can click here to get my zip file. If I open up my zip file, I'll bring that over here where you can see it. There's a folder of my files. Now cryptograms are the only ones that come with three because it's got the cryptogram, the answers, and then some hints. But everything else is going to come with the puzzle and the answers, the puzzle and the answers. And so what I can do is I can go into software like I Love PDF, upload them, and I can arrange them in the order that I want. And that's how I create puzzle books in Puzzle Book Mastery. Now, if you want to get your hands on the Puzzle Book Mastery software that I used in this video, then you want to make sure that you head on over to kwheelerbooks.com slash puzzles. Now, as promised, I want to give you a sneak peek at a brand new puzzle book software specifically for making kids puzzle books. And it's created by the same people that created Puzzle Book Mastery. So let me flip the screen around and show you that software. Well, here we are, kids puzzle books. And as you can see, it goes on sale March 27th, 2020. That was yesterday. This is literally less than 24 hours new. I've got my login. I have no books created right here yet. Uh, this is the main page. Uh, it's very similar because it's made by the same people that made Puzzle Book Mastery. There's a lot of the same puzzle types, so I'm not going to go into too much detail on those. But I do want to show you the ones that are new to the Kid Puzzle Book system. Uh, for one, I can start a new book. And here you can see a list of all the different puzzle types. We've got Hangman, Tic-Tac-Toe, Dots and Boxes, Dot to Dot, Sudoku 9x9, and 6x6. 6x6 would be for younger kids. Uh, word scrambles, just like we had with our regular Puzzle Book Mastery. Word searches, like with Puzzle Book Mastery, but there's an 8x8 and a 10x10. Again, the 8x8 would be for the younger children. This shows me how many I have available. You're going to default to Hangman, Tic-Tac-Toe, Dots and Boxes, and the two Sudoku types all being preset for you. They're already in the system. All you have to add in is word scrambles if you want, uh, the two different types of word searches. The upload process is exactly the same as before. The difference is, is here you can actually go in and you can create a book and more importantly, save it within your system. All right, so I'm going to go in here and let's say I want to do 10 hangman, 20 tic-tac-toes. I want to give it a name. So we're going to call this Kid Puzzle 1. Save it. And here it is now in my books, Kid Puzzle 1, I can go in and either generate the book or I can edit it. If I edit it, it brings me right back to here. I can make any changes that I want. The upload process is the same as with Puzzle Book Mastery. I absolutely want to show you the dot to dot. This is probably one of my favorite elements when it comes to the kids' puzzle books. As you can see, there's a my dot to dot, or I can click on that and see all the dot to dot pages that I've already generated and saved. I'm going to start from a new one. First thing I need to do is I need to load an image. As you can see right now, it only takes JPEG format. We're going to browse. I'm going to grab this thumb, upload it, and there we go. So there's our image. And then for the dot to dot, you're going to go in, you're going to select what color you want your dots to be. In this case, I'm just going to do red, but you can do black, however you want. And then you're literally just going to decide where you want to start, and you're going to click. And there we go. Now, if you want to see how it looks, you can hide your background. There you go, that's how it looks. Show your background again. You can connect the dots. And then you just connect the dots. There you go. Unconnect. And there you go, there's your connect the dots. You can give it a name. I'm gonna call this thumbs up. So now I wanna go over and 
go to edit my book. Um, again, I want to do the hangman, the tic-tac-toe. Let's throw in uh, 20 dot boxes. We're going to make this for younger kids, so we're going to do um, 10 of the easier Sudoku. And I didn't upload any scrambles or word searches, but I absolutely could have. Um, anyway, so I'm going to save this. One thing I want to show you before I save it, one of the things I love the most about the kids puzzle software that I just anticipate he's going to add to the puzzle book of mastery, which is if I don't like the order of this, I can just click on it and drag it and move it around. And anything that has a zero is just completely ignored. So I can leave the zeros in between. It doesn't matter. It's not going to be included. So if I want Sudoku's at the end, I'll have tic-tac-toes, dot and boxes, hangman, and then the six by six Sudoku. I can just save this book and then generate my book. And here you go. As quick as that, these are my tic-tac-toes, my dots and boxes, my hangman. These are my six by six Sudoku. And at the very back will be the solutions to my Sudokus. Now, how cool is that? If you want to pick up the kids puzzle book mastery, head on over to kwheelerbooks.com slash kids. Now, if you've missed any of the previous videos in the series, you can click right here and check out the entire playlist. Or you can click right here and check out the video that YouTube has lined up for you and they'll sure you're enjoying. I'll catch you next video and remember to write right.